AM 970 WSTX. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's that time again. Super Thursday. Great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent Thursday here with Reflections on WSTX AM 970. All right. Good morning, world. Bring it closer to home. Good morning, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John. Good morning to the whole Caribbean, South America going down under. All right. Good morning, Europe, Africa, all the way up into the Netherlands. Good morning. Good morning, U.S., Canada, all the way up to my friends up there in Alaska. Hey, I'd visit, but for a very, very short time. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyhow, if you need me a box of some sunshine, let me know and we'll see what we could do. Wow, we have so much to be thankful for on this wonderful Thursday. And of course, you know, it starts with Thursday. So when you hear my good friend Doc Peterson come in Friday and say, well, it ain't Friday till I say it's Friday, he counting on the fact that, hey, it starts with Thursday. All right. Lots of things going on here in these great Virgin Islands. Lots of interesting things going on. And, uh, of course, we'll talk about a, a, a few of those things. Uh, we're expecting some call-ins from some folks who are traveling but have good things to talk about what relates to these Virgin Islands, and we'll see if that pans out accordingly, and uh, we'll move according to how we need to move here. But, you know, one of the things that uh, in, in the past week that I had experiences with and others here had experiences with is the fact that we have people that are near and dear to us who are checking out of this life and moving on, all right? And I just say to you, Take time now to tell people the things you have to tell them, especially the positive things. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing, okay? But I'm just saying, don't wait till they're gone to realize I didn't say this or I didn't say that or I didn't give them a hug or so forth and so on. So things you take for granted. You say good morning, hello, how you doing, all, all these nice civilities and everything, but sometimes... You might want to go a little bit further and, and give a hug and say, you know, you did this for me the other day and I really appreciate it and I want you to, to know that I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Because when you have these home-going ceremonies and celebrations, yes, it is a celebration of life, but life is also to be celebrated while it's there. So don't let the, the words that need to be said be forever silenced because there are no ears to hear it and appreciate it, okay? I don't want to, to belabor that point too much, but that's the nature of the beast. When you get in this family thing, and I'm mad with he, and I'm mad with she, and me talking to them, and skinning up your face, and all this other stuff, please. First of all, when you're making up your face, it takes more energy to make up your face than to smile. So the person who calls you to make up your face, you're working for them. So don't do it. On top of that, if you're uh, a little bit vain even, just know that the more you frown, the more likely it is that those lines in your face are going to become a permanent part of your face. All right? So... Second reason is vanity, okay? Keep the wrinkles out. Don't be squinching up your face like that, okay? And the bottom line is that family is one of the most precious things that you have. Don't let it slip away. Here in the Virgin Islands, one of the things that I, I, I say to people is that we could, we could start a graduate program in holding a grudge and we would come world-renowned really really quick <laughs> you teeth my marble 20 years ago and so i still holding that one there against you okay when we were in junior high or high school i had liked that girl and you make her your girlfriend or she make herself your girl her girlfriend and whatever 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 and i'm mad with you 20 years later please all right we got a caller here 
Good morning, Reflections, Kale. You're on the air. Good morning, Mr. Canton. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Well, I had my coffee. Oh, my goodness, don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, know, you were talking about when uh, someone passed away, you know, he said, oh, man, you know, I wish I had done. And um, one person that um, a lot of people, I think, know is Lavon McNamara. Uh-huh. And she, she used to do her hair dressing. Mm-hmm. Right there she, in the studio, right down there. She passed away, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, we always think about we need to do this and we're going to do this and that and we long range thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But we have to be thankful for the people who are doing right now. And you is one of those persons who bring joy on Thursday. This is happy. <laughs> this is happy Thursday. Glad to spread it. And you hit the nail right on the head when you says stop worrying and making up your face because them muscles getting tired. <laughs> you know, when you smile, they relax. And the idea, uh, what you said about telling the lady on the road, thank you for what you're doing, we have to do that more often. Amen. When somebody does something, says, thank you. And children growing up now, a lot of times we, um, ageable people, we don't uh, tell them, well, you know, you did a good job, you appreciate it, and blah, blah, blah. You know, just because they're a child, we don't want to say that. But that is where it begins with the children. And when you come on, I think this is motivation Thursday. <laughs> motivation Thursday, <laughs> all yeah. right. But okay. um, it's a pleasure listening to you because sometimes you wake up in the morning, you got your little arthritis here, or oh, dear head, you could say. But when they listen to you laughing, it's catching, you know. Well, I hope so. I it's hope so. This thing, this catching. And Many years ago, we were, we were like that, man. You see somebody, you say, morning, how are you doing today? Uh, you know, big up somebody. But we have to do that. Work with the present and be appreciative of the people who are trying to make a difference. Well, one of the oh, things, no, yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off, but one of the things that, and, and this is me on the road, when I bump into my elders, and they ask me how I do it. I tell I doing great. As long as I'm seeing you, I, I know I follow in the right direction. <laughs> because a lot of us young people are making it these days, you know what I'm saying? So it's and, and, and I always get a smile or a laugh out, out of that one. But it's true because uh, folks like yourself and our, our elders, y'all are the people that, that, that lay the groundwork for the life that we're able to have today and the, the possibilities in that life to do great things. But when you get up in the morning and you say, eh, eh, the sun coming up, man, you got to be thankful. Because when you closed your eye last night, it was not guaranteed that you're going to see the morning. Amen. So then there is another group, I think, that goes in the um, cemetery and doing cleanup. We have people that really making a difference for other people to enjoy it. So we have to say thank you to all those people who are trying to make a difference. That's and right. a big thank you to you. You hear? Because I'm sure that you really make a difference in people's life. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to tell you this, right? Uh, my show, I don't, and, and you could see this by listening to it, it's not really a big calling thing, you know, but when I, did, when I go out on the road, I, I am being pulled aside here, there, and everywhere about this show. And I, so I know that people are listening. You have to be confident in what you're doing. And this is why when I come in here and I crank up that music, 
and the happiness just if it wasn't there before it's there with the music and it's like it just takes off on there and i tell i tell him i say you know but i'm having fun i'm glad you enjoy it i'm having fun i'm enjoying doing it for you <laughs> yeah man and yeah. um it isn't just here alone other people off island and they might get up and man i think you know what i got to do today and i grow she and all kind of thing but when they listen to you it make a difference hey you know, uh, when I'm driving down the road and I, I got to take my, my daughter down to Central High in the morning from time to time, except like when I'm here, I make other arrangements. But, uh, and the, the, the rush and the pressure and people trying to get somewhere on this little island, isn't like you have to drive two hours to get someplace. We're talking 5, 10, 15 minutes. And the chances you see people taking and the things that they're doing, trying to get there, quote unquote, on time. If you're going to be late, you're going to be late. Between the lights and traffic, if you didn't start out all enough, you're going to be late. Don't be putting people at risk driving and carrying on like that. But it's part of the mentality of getting up and being stressed. The only thing stress does is kill. Yeah, hey, bus pipe. Hey, <laughs> you know? You know? Exactly. Exactly. And, and, but and a lot of people got the idea, hurry up and wait. <laughs> you get in there, you know you're going to get there. Take your time now, man. Well, usually when I'm on the plane and the plane land, I just make it a point. I, don't, I sit down, I don't move. Everybody jump up and get in the bags and everything, and they're all stuck in the aisle. And when they're waiting and waiting and waiting, I said, no, nah, I'm going to wait until they open the door and people start moving and get to that point, you know. Unless I just want to stretch. But it's this, this, this thing that somehow or the other, if I don't move, something will happen or something not going to happen. And we've got to calm it down and just know that our brother and sister next to us is the most important thing at the moment because mm. we're not guaranteed the next moment. And you know something? We have a lot of people um, who in the home all the time and... A very nice thing to do is to make a phone call, and it is very appreciative when somebody call and say hello to you. And I got some people up in age, some of them have been 90 and thing, and they call me, and man, we feel so good when we talk, maybe about a little old time or something, but a simple thing of a phone call and telling somebody, Hello or something, and you, you make them feel good, you know. Well, it's the, Mr. Marco says it's the little things that count. Yeah, but now that you said that, I want us to send out a co appreciation and kudos to all those people who go and visit people who are shut in. Yes. Okay? People who are at Herbert Gregg home. And there are people who do it because it is their pleasure to do it and their civic duty in their mind to do it. And it, no, nobody's forcing them to do it. And you'll find a lot of times it's church groups that do these things, whether it's on Sunday, Saturday, or a specified day of the week. But they do it, and these folks look forward to that visit. Okay? And I want to give special kudos to those for having the discipline and the commitment to those who are in, in home, shut, uh, shut in, relatively speaking, and otherwise in like uh, Herbert Gregg home. To that, that little bit of cheer that comes with these people coming to visit, that expectation that's created, that helps to bring some quality to their life more than and above if it wasn't there. It's more and above if it wasn't there. You see? And I second the motion. All right. Because, uh, well, you, I know you're making people have a good day, so you have a good day, too. I, I'm going to do my utmost best to yeah. make this a great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent Thursday that laying a, fun, a, a foundation for a fantastic Friday. Okay? I gonna do We my have best. such a beautiful place here, and it's ours. Hey. Why not take care of it? Yesterday afternoon, I was down in Frederickstead, okay, on the waterfront. And you want to see the nice golden glow of the sun as it was going down, okay? And the cruise ship and the people walking around. It was just like, wow, 
You know, we have to take time and appreciate what we have. And it was something to see. I look forward to going down there and doing a, a videotape time lapse of that sun going down and the energy in that place. It is something to be seen and definitely something to appreciate. I hope my words did justice for those others who were able to see it. I just hope my words did justice for those who are listening so that in their minds they can picture this big red ball. Okay, it was big easing down on the on the horizon and the clouds there showing the orange red shimmer and the line in the sea like it coming straight back to you on the shore it was fantastic man i can tell you all those people in christian said come down to frederickstead and look at this the sun going down and you in frederickstead come up to point you and look at the sun coming up <laughs> Hey. It's so beautiful, huh? It is. Yeah. It's a treasure. Well, you have a blessed day now. All right, all right. Good. Thanks for calling. Good okay. cigar. Good cigar. All right. Okay, so here we are. A great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent Thursday. And my good friend, Krimi, calling there. And it's like, wow. We always have a, a, a good conversation and a... I look forward for the next time we get together, Krimi. I, you know, I got some other videos and stuff I'm going to be sharing with you from, from time to time. I got to keep you in the loop and up to date. <laughs> okay? All right. So, yes. So much to be thankful for. So much going on. 